Good evening, Planet YouTube. It is 9.45 on Wednesday the 12th of June. It's my son's 26th birthday. And it's time for today in my bujo. Right. <laughs> Hope you've all had a good day. I have. I suppose, mostly. Um, right, so I did night face cream and my hands. I don't know that I did the word. So the 11th I did, yeah. So I did, I didn't craft. I had chips. I was supposed to colour that in, was I? Ugh, oh, see, brain's just so not working. Hands, night face, cream. Today's word. I did not craft. I did not have no chips because I had chips. My caffeine and fizzy. I did not have booze. Dust on the challenge for that one. Oh, I did not wear makeup. Right. Back planning blows your mind sometimes. Did that. Okay, steps. 24,014. So. Right up there. Didn't do any of that. My mum went to her blood test. I cancelled the electrician coming. I haven't set up the weekend. Two seconds and I will do that. Right. This is yesterday's pen though. It's Tuesday's pen, isn't it? Duh. So, um,. That's annoying. A <laughs> photo of my son who parted rather hard last night. It's his birthday today. And I did a moon. So I didn't do all of the challenges. I just did that one. So we're switching to Wednesday's pen. Today. I have worn day face cream. I didn't wear makeup. Did the challenges. I've had booze. I've had fizzy. I've had caffeine. For chips, I did not craft, and I will do the word in a sec. We also need the weather for today, which was actually really, really nice. Walked along the seafront with my kids. Mm. It reminds me I need to print a photograph. Got a really nice photo of me and my boys, my older boys, because Daryl was at preschool walking along the seafront together. It was really, really nice. Okay, so the weather. Let me just set the picture up to printing while I do it. Connect to the sprocket. I have to tell mine to connect every single time because it doesn't do it manually, which is really annoying. It's actually quite clear considering that I was walking along going like <laughs> Pretty much day like yesterday. is paused. Why is my print cute paused? And my little printer light is flashing. I can't believe it was only a high of 12. It was beautiful down on the beach. Really was stunning. 4.52 sun up and 9.16 p.m. sun down. <laughs> it's me, my eldest, my second youngest and the birthday boy. And that's the lovely beach behind us. I live on a uh, very small island, like sort of 24 by 17 miles or something stupid like that. Um, I've been asked about my nails being very plain. Um, black was Stuart's favourite colour and the funeral will hopefully be next week. And um, it seemed appropriate. Because as, as you can see from that photo, when we were wearing t-shirts, it's beautiful. So I'm always baffled when it's like, oh no, it's it was crappy weather. I was like, well dude, the hell were you looking at? Because I swept my ass off and I need a bath now. It was a good day though. Much needed. Um, people are invariably going to ask, 
no, I have not had the results from the coroner yet. I did clean some of my office this morning though. Um, the table that was usually sort of over there has been moved and cleaned up all down the side here so that now my little table is here next to these drawers and my typewriter is on my little table so when I need to I literally just need to go here rather than go and find some room over there to set my typewriter up so yeah I'm really pleased um, and it also means that like the other chair is just just here um, so like when my daughter and that comes around if she wants to join me in a live because sometimes she does you know or if anybody else wants to come around or Daryl wants to sit down I can move the typewriter and just stick it underneath that table and then the table is free um, I need to get over here and I'm sorry that that camera keeps you know th this camera here the me camera keeps zooming in out I can't the software I've got only controls that camera that seems to be like the main camera and I don't know how to make it do that camera as well I don't know, maybe swapping them around would help but that's the one that I really need to control the focus on anyway um, that unit there is a 5x5 five five calyx unit and it's half full of my knitting yarn and fibre some of my knitting yarn and fibre so I'm going to move that and tidy it all up um, to make it uh, more office you know for the office really um, it shouldn't need too much because when we moved it all in here we tidied it but I've dumped stuff in front of it like that box there pardon me that's um, a box that Daryl's Toy Story stuff came in and I've kept it because I want to use it <laughs> for something but it needs to be put away until I do use it over in that corner over there is like about six handbags a bag full of knitting yarn uh, a skein winder some framed pictures it's just, and it's all just piled up for the calyx unit which makes the calyx unit useless because I can't get in and out of stuff so it becomes a dumping ground and I don't want that I want it to be tidier in here um, I've already gained a shitload of floor space just by moving that table um, by sort of literally scrunching all this up the, uh, the elliptical trainer went a few weeks back but now that I've tidied this side of the room, it's like, wow, I've got room over here. This is great. So, yeah, that's what I'm, uh, I did some of that this morning. And I might do more of it, not tomorrow, but maybe Friday. Um, this is going to be a little bit sparkly, I think. Because I just used sparkly paint. Yeah, tomorrow we've got a very exciting day. We are going to meet new teacher for September the um, the school he's going to they like to come and visit you at home to see you know I think they're just being lazy personally but there you go but they say it's to see the child in their natural environment and I'm like why you're not teaching him in his natural environment but you know that's it's not up to me so um, although I suppose I could refuse it but I don't really see the necessity behind it. There's a very good chance I will know the teacher anyway. Because one of the teachers that's up there used to be um, deputy headmistress at the same school when my elder children went <laughs> all those years ago. Um, I went in there the other day to drop a form off and um <laughs> the the woman behind it was weird because the the young woman behind the reception oh, i say young woman she's my age the woman behind the reception desk attended that same school with me and um it's the same building but it's a different school now it used to just be a middle school now it's a primary school we, we switched to a two-tier system several years back um and um, yeah she went to school with me and I'm standing there in the queue waiting to hand this form over <laughs> I guess it's tap on the shoulder and I turn around and it was the primary school receptionist from when my kids used to go so that was kind of like I was like blimey and she said what are you doing here and I said well I've come to hand this form in and she said oh here's that for then I, said, oh, I had another one <laughs> she was like I said yeah she said but I said how old 
to your other kids. I said, well, you know, Alex was 18 when I had it. She said, bloody hell, you know. And I said to her, I noticed that, you know, this teacher's still there. And she said, yes. Yeah. So, and she's a reception class teacher. This teacher's like, fingers crossed. I'm hoping, like, you know, that she might spot my surname because Daryl's got a different surname from me. Not that we use it, but of course, officially we have to. Um, but I'm hoping she might spot my surname and go, I want that one. Because that'd be really cool. Right, I filled that in. <laughs> I haven't done cards. I'm really not up for doing cards today. Um, well, I've got to put that it was a good day, really, because it was. It was my son's birthday. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with an eight because we went out to lunch. We had a nice day. I saw an old friend today as well, which is always nice. Came round to see me, see how I was doing. He was a friend of Stuart's as well. And um, when he couldn't find me, he found me. Oh, where are you at, woman? I'm on the beach having a drink. <laughs> Come join us. So he did. He's known my kids since, well, I've known him since I was 13, 14. Um, so he came down and said hi and was rather astonished at the fact that my son's now 26. Um, his daughter is what, a year older than my eldest, I think. And he's got grandchildren, <laughs> which I always find hysterical when people my age or near my age, I've got grandchildren. I always like to really take the piss. My oldest friend, um, she's got three grandchildren. And I always laugh at her. I'm always there going, yeah, why? She's six months older than I am. And I always take great pleasure in telling her that. You will always be six months older than I am. Quarter past 12 till seven o'clock. Slept better. Slept better. It's weird. You start to feel guilty when you can get through the day without crying or when you can go you know a bit of time without thinking about the person you've lost and I know that's natural but you, you still feel it you know you still feel guilty and you're still like oh god um, or you feel guilty for being happy you know I mean, today was my son's birthday. It was about him, but you just you you do feel guilty. It's weird. It's a weird feeling, you know. That I don't have, I don't, I don't have any right to be happy, you know. But you you have to. You know, your life goes on, doesn't it? As horrible as that is. Okay. Do you know, I've marked that I've been cleaning the loo and I obviously haven't because I cleaned it this morning. It was fucking disgusting. So I've obviously thought I've done it and I haven't done it. And I live with, you know, a little boy and a, and a large boy. And you're not men alike. They miss. So, yeah. I cleaned the loo and the bathroom sink today. I'll go out and do the rest before bed. I'm really, really tired again. My son is 26 today. So I'll look at that in years to come. Why the fuck did I write 26? And I won't notice the date because that's what I'm like. Okay, so. Um, yeah, my mum went and had her bloods done. I set up the weekend earlier. Um, yeah, I've printed for the July book. It's all in the, all in the printer over here. The dot grid. I need to find a cover for it and all that lot. Okay, so I drew a little moon for yesterday. I can't remember. If I said this earlier. I probably did. Um, today the prompts were prickly pear, and that's what I found when I googled it. And um, the earth, and I, yeah. Shh, I won't tell if you wrote. So let's draw in our little parcels, and I will paint and do everything that I want to do. Okay, and we'll get on with it.
that was supposed to be reserved. And I wrote reserved for... Um, so there we go. I will journal a little bit. I was so concentrating so hard on making it look good that I fucked it up. That's what I do. If I concentrate too hard, I fuck it up. So, let's start from the beginning. I did my weather. I didn't actually wait for that to dry. I just kept going. That's, hmm. Uh, yep, that's all up to date. I did a... Oh, I didn't write down what day it was. Did a little bow. Prezi. Right, I need to write down... I just said it was 24,000 or something. 24,014. 10.18. Hmm. You're bloody impressed, aren't you? Today's is already, I can actually already draw in today's because it's off the 25,000. So I might as well just draw that in. And then in the morning I'll just write what it was. Yeah, we're, at, we're, we're just under 26 actually. And I will literally just write in tomorrow what my step count was, which I don't imagine will be much higher than what it is now. It, it dips there, so it's quite hard to draw a straight line. That's done, I've done that. I've done that. And I've done that. So yeah, that's it, we're up to date. Um, I'm gonna leave you there. Tomorrow I've got the school teacher coming. I've got the plasterer down the road. I need to go shopping. Might be a bit of a crappy day tomorrow. Should hear from the um, coroner as well. Because they said it would be either today or tomorrow, so, and we haven't heard today, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. I'm going because it's half past ten, and um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm tired, and I want to go to bed. <laughs> so, I will see you all as and when. Um, well, it will be tomorrow. Okay, I'll be checking in tomorrow. Um, it will probably be a bit like this one. It will be an all-in-one rather than a morning and an evening edition. Because I'm not going to get time to do it in the morning. Because I'll get up and then we'll have to get dressed. Because this woman's gone, I need to hoover. Because I haven't vacuumed the house. The office is a mess. And it's just like... So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know the drill guys those of you that have been here before for those of you that haven't been here before welcome to my channel um thumbs up <laughs> my mind went blank and please feel free to leave me a thumbs up and um as my four-year-old says we love comments so you know leave a comment down below uh if you click this book here you will be subscribed and, and my face will appear here in a minute and you can click that too you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell down there if youtube plays nice you'll be notified when i upload new content you're all fabulous and I love you all so much and I will see you in Thursday's edition of Today in My Boojo. Have a fantastic rest of your day.